Episode number 19, Dog Tanyon is put to the test. Cardinal Richelieu's scheme to destroy the reputation of Her Majesty Queen Anne and the Royal Musketeers has failed. So now Dog Tanyon is free to concentrate his efforts to achieve his lifelong wish, to become an official member of the Royal Musketeers. Hello, Sandy. George! <laughs> One more time, Sandy. Charge! Oh. Oh. Well done. That was using your head, Dog Tanyon. Oh. When will Monsieur Treville promote you from being a cadet to being a musketeer? I don't know, Pip, but I certainly do hope it's soon. Why is it taking so long? Monsieur Treville and the King and the Queen have all said how much you deserve it. But that doesn't have anything to do with my promotion, Pip. Why not? They know you're ready. Well, you see, the Royal Musketeers have certain rules and regulations, and one of them is that there can't be more Musketeers than there already are. So, until someone leaves the Corps, I can't join up. You'll probably be too old to hold a sword. Hey, Dog Canyon! Dog Canyon! What is it, Aramis? I've got great news. You might be promoted sooner than we thought. I don't have to wait anymore? There's one vacant post to be filled. Congratulations, Dog Canyon. You're officially a musketeer at last. Not quite yet, Pip. It's not huh? that simple. Well, what do you mean, Aramis? You must prove you're more qualified than the others that want to join. I'm not worried. Dog Canyon's better than all of them. Aren't you, Dog Canyon? I hope so. Aramis, what is it that I must do? There are several tests. For example, swordsmanship. No one can beat him. You're probably right, Pip. He's a fine swordsman. Best in France, without a doubt. But the first test he must pass is horse racing. Dog Canyon is the best horseback rider in France. Another is swimming a river. Dog Canyon is the finest swimmer that the world has ever seen. No doubt about it. Oh, and you've got the biggest mouth. Your most difficult task will be a trek through the forest in the dead of night. Huh? huh? Woods at night? You'll be given instructions to find something in the woods at night, and the one who returns with it most quickly is the winner. Hey, now. That sounds like fun. I warn you, it's extremely difficult. There are many traps to avoid, and in the dark, it's easy to lose your way. Sounds like child's play. On the contrary, that's the test that is most often the cause for disqualification. I'll do it, I swear it. Our hero might not be so confident if he knew of Cardinal Richelieu's plans. Yes, Widemir, that is an excellent idea, and it appears you have chosen the right man for this mission. Yes, Eminence, I'm sure he'll win. Hmm. Placing a spy in the ranks of the Musketeers is what I've hoped for, but first he must win those trials. Speaking as the captain of your guard, I promise you that he'll fill that vacant post, Your Eminence. Meanwhile, at Musketeer headquarters... This is a list of those being tested. The list includes D'Artagnan, of course. No matter how good the others may be, we're positive D'Artagnan will be the winner, Captain. Now you know the trials must be managed with absolute fairness. Both Aramis and the two of you must show no favoritism towards anyone. Is that clear? Captain, you mean that we are the ones responsible for choosing the winner? The three of you are better qualified to judge the trials than anyone. However, you are absolutely forbidden to help D'Artagnan in any way, no matter how great the temptation may be, or to obstruct the others that are being tested. If the rules are broken, then no one will be chosen. Is that understood? I want D'Artagnan to win, but on his own. Yes, yes sir. D'Artagnan also wants to win, and so is preparing for the trials. Just now, he's concentrating on horseback riding. Poor Sandy is exhausted from all this practicing, D'Artagnan. If you keep this up, he won't be able to win a snail race. Hey, talking to you is like talking to a brick wall. This is boring. I'm gonna go take a walk. Practice, practice, practice. It's making him crazy. Huh? Say, that's Whitmer. I wonder what he could be up to now. So you understand that you must follow my orders exactly. And in order to become a musketeer and spy on them for us, you've got to win those trials, understand? Mm. Once you've enlisted in the Corps, you must report everything you hear to me or to his eminence. Then we'll plan how best to put an end to Monsieur Treville and the Musketeers. So win any way you can. Is that clear? Mm. Mm. Very well, we're relying on you. That Captain Whitmer is gonna start making trouble again. 
I'd better go tell Dog Tanyon. Dog Tanyon! That Captain Whittemer is hatching another treacherous plot. Will you stop for a minute and listen to me, please, Dog Tanyon? Now, this is important. All right, if you insist on ignoring me, then I'll do the same. I won't say a word. Since you don't seem interested in food these days, I won't offer you any. I wouldn't want to ruin your concentration. It's been a real pleasure. Uncle, take that. It smells yummy and it looks even better. Well, there's no doubt about it. Juliet treats Dog Tanyon with tender, loving care. Huh? Go on, get away, bird. You aren't gonna get any free handouts. Oh, but I'm so hungry. Just a little, please. What? Didn't you hear what I just said? This food is for Dog Tanyon and for me. Listen, just a bite will do. Have a heart. Not on your life now, Scram, huh? Hey, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. I'm just starving to death. Hey, wait a minute. Are you really that hungry, my friend? Well, in that case, I suppose you can have some. Ah! Food, oh boy! Whoa! Hey, don't gobble up everything. Leave something for me and Dog Tanyon. Huh? Oh, here. There, now, drink. Whoever said there's no such thing as a free lunch sure never met you. On the night before the trials, Dog Tanyon can barely fall asleep. And when he finally does, he's plagued by nightmares, struggling with phantoms who are trying to stop him from becoming a musketeer. Even in his sleep, he won't stop. Huh, huh. Say that, you. Ah! I won't be able to sleep unless I wake him up. Very soon, Juliet. I will be a musketeer, my Juliet. I promise you. Oh, the lad wants to be a musketeer more than anything in the whole world. If he doesn't make it, he'll be so disappointed. Don't you worry, Dog Tanyon. I'm gonna make certain you win so that your dream will come true. Did you say something? No, not a thing. You go to sleep now, you'll have to wake up soon. The big day has arrived. Practically all of Paris has come to watch, for it's not every day that the best sword fighters and horsemen of France compete for the honor of joining the musketeers. I think they all look like fine cavaliers. Don't trust the big fat one, Dog Tanyon. <laughs> I hope you catch double pneumonia, you goon. I'm wishing the very best for you, Dog Tanyon. I just know you'll win. Set. Now for the other side. 
there, that should do it. Now we wait. You go over there and I'll watch for him from up in this tree. <laughs> you won't know what hit him. Silly questions and get going, will ya? They're way ahead of you, now get moving! Come on, Sandy! Let's go! Well, that trick didn't work at all. Hey, wake up! We've gotta get going! Wake up! Dog oh, Canyon has got to be one of the first three to finish or he'll be disqualified! There it is, down there, near the wall. This'll stop him. I decided ahead of time to have this thing ready, just in case. Well, he did it, but I bet Sandy won't be able to get up for a few days. Ready for the next race, Sandy? Ah, don't worry, I'm just kidding. The contestants that remain must swim a race across the river. Get ready! It looks as if Pip has another trick up his sleeve. What could he be up to? Dog Tanyon's passed all the tests so far, but this one's the most difficult. I want Dog Tanyon to win just as badly as you do. But the captain has given all three of us strict instructions not to help him in any way, so I don't see any way out of our predicament. But think of our motto, one for all and all for one. I'm in favor of helping him. Only two contestants remain, our friend and that big oaf that's so strong. And he looks very well prepared. If we don't help Dog Tanyon, I don't think he'll be able to beat him. Very well, we're agreed, but if the captain hears of this, we're in for it. Then we'll help him? So be it. 
Then it is one for all. And, and all, all for, for one. one. Now that I know what they plan to do, I'll make it impossible for their help to do Dog Canyon any good at all. <laughs> With Captain Widemere lurking nearby, the forest is even more dangerous. This is the map of the route that you must travel. At the end of that road is a hut with a hat hung outside the door. Your mission is to bring that hat back here. You must memorize this map. Otherwise, you'll not only lose your way in the dark, but you might fall victim to the traps we've laid for you. The one who brings the hat in the shortest time will win. The other contestant will be disqualified. Yes, sir. Very well, you will go first. Listen, when Dog Tanyan goes by, we won't let him know we're here. But when the other one comes, the three of us will jump him together. Agreed? Very well, go to your posts. He's quite strong and in good condition. It seems as if he's able to see in the dark. He's quite confident he'll win, that's certain. What should we do? We'd better do something, because Dog Tanyon doesn't have a chance of beating him. I'm afraid it's beginning to look that way. We're running out of time, my friends. I'm afraid if we don't do something soon, Dog Tanyon is bound to lose. Let's give him some help. It's such a beautiful hat, I'm sure Dog Tanyon wouldn't appreciate it, so I might as well take it. Fancy meeting you here, Captain. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Explain yourself, Widimer. What are you doing hereabouts? Put that back where you found it, Captain. Where'd they come from? I am outraged! Did you think I would take it? There! All I was doing was trying it on! <laughs> hey, Widimer, you might catch a head cold without your hat. Here! <laughs> Hmm? Oh. <laughs> mm, someday you'll pay for this. We've done it. Now Dog Tanyon will win for sure, Sandy. It seems Dog Tanyon is won, but the king must make it official. Congratulations, Dog Tanyon. As of now, you are one of the musketeers. Thank you. One moment, Your Majesty. The lad is not worthy of being a musketeer. What? Why not, Richelieu? Dog Tanyon has passed all the trials and has proven himself worthy. So it would seem, Your Majesty. But I have just received reports that there are grave doubts as to whether or not the trials were impartial and carried out in a proper manner. And who reported this? Here he is, Your Majesty. Of course, it would be you. Widemere, approach His Majesty and tell him everything you know about what has transpired. And so Monsieur Treville has postponed my appointment until everything is straightened out. Hmm. 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 I guess all our help was for nothing. Oh, well. What was that, Pip? Oh, it was nothing. I was just saying I was sorry, Dog Tanyon. Oh, don't worry. Everything will work out. I'm sure I'll be a musketeer soon. Hey, do you feel like taking a ride? Sure. Hey, how about a lift up? <laughs> <laughs> 
Kia! D'Artagnan's friends meant well, but perhaps if they had let him try to win on his own, he would now be an official member of the Royal Musketeers. But you can hardly blame his friends for trying to help him realize his dream. After all, they were guided in their actions by their belief in a motto they've sworn to live by second to none. When evil is near or a fight has begun, when friends need their help and deeds must be done, they've sworn one for all and all for one. In our next episode, a mysterious old hag involves Widemir and Rochefort in a devious plot to find the missing half of a secret treasure map, while the citizens of Paris are plagued by a rash of strange burglaries carried out by none other than that infamous thief, the Blue Falcon. Thank <laughs> you.